Greetings and hello, Screenbox. My name is Michael Verratti, and I'm a screenwriter and the host of Dead for Filth, the podcast for all things queer horror and beyond. And I'm here today to answer a few of your questions, so why don't we get started? As a writer, you've been involved in the creation of a number of holiday films, as well as horror. What is your favorite Christmas holiday horror movie? Uh, my favorite Christmas holiday horror movie has to be Bob Clark's Black Christmas. Not only is it the original proto-slasher that paved the way for movies like John Carpenter's Halloween and Russ Craven's Nightmare on Elm Street, but there's just something kind of so sleazy and scary about this guy who's stalking these sorority girls over holiday break that, I, you know, all these years later, it just has such impact and power. Uh, and just the imagery of how he weaves in, like, the Christmas lights and the snow with just these, like, visceral moments. It's a very, very uh, powerful movie, and I still watch it every holiday season. And, and on a personal note, I look up to Bob Clark a great deal, because Bob Clark not only directed horror movies like Black Christmas and Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, but he also made holiday family films like A Christmas Story. And as someone who makes horror movies and holiday family films, I kind of look to him as someone to aspire to. You're subject to an ancient curse, and you've been trapped in a horror movie and can only escape by surviving to the end credits. What horror movie would you choose to be trapped in, and how would you survive? Uh, well, if I know that I'm cursed and I have to pick the movie that I'm trapped in, I'm going to cheat a little bit and pick The Blob. And my reason is The Blob is a very slow-moving creature. So uh, at the first signs of danger, I would get a car and hightail it out of town because by the time its gelatinous movement got to me, I would be like three counties over. And I would just hunker down until the credits rolled so I could uh, get out of the movie. If you had to go on a cross-country road trip with a famous horror villain, who would it be and why? If I had to go on a cross-country road trip with a famous horror villain, I'm going to assume, based on the construct of this question, that uh, we're just joyriding across America together and they're not going to kill me. So with that in mind, I'm going to pick Chucky. And my reason for that is twofold. One, uh, Chucky is very entertaining, so I have a feeling the conversation wouldn't lag with all those hours in the car. He's funny. That would pass the time, and that's really good. Uh, and two, Chucky has the appearance of a doll, so when we were checking into hotels at night, I wouldn't get charged double occupancy. And for reasons of entertainment and thriftiness, that kind of makes Chucky a great road trip companion. Chucky, anytime you want to hop in the car, I am ready to go. People love to go to horror movies, haunted houses, take rides on roller coasters to feel the thrill of danger. Why do you like to be scared? Wes Craven famously said that we don't go to horror movies for fear, we go for catharsis, and I think that's true. I think that we uh, take on so much stress and anxiety uh, in the real world that there's something about going to art that we can place those fears and those anxieties into a story or onto the screen for 90 minutes. That's why I think you see in uh, economic downturns in history, horror thrives. So I like to be scared because I think that it's displacement. I think that like it, it lets us get out our anxieties and our fears uh, in the real world in a healthy and fun and entertaining way. Candy corn, yay or nay? I am a huge fan of candy corn. I've always been a fan of candy corn. I consider it to be one of the great seasonal treats. I also like that candy corn is so divisive amongst people. That makes it all the more exciting to me. Uh, you either really love it or hate it, but you just can't stop talking about it. I think that that's what makes candy corn uh, iconic. It's part of the Halloween season. Uh, whether it is something that people like or not. Yeah, I, I am here to celebrate a legend. 